Hi my sweethearts, it's Tara. Welcome back to Tara's Take. So today I have in front of me a bunch of Tim Holtz squares that I had cut out of my um, scrapbook pad, my 12 by 12 And I brought along a little booklet here I want to make. Um, our friend Mary from our family here on Tara's Take had blessed me last week with um, a happy mail and I had asked her if I could remake this wonderful little booklet that she had in the package and I just fell in love with it. It's a little book with pockets and tags and tabs and just fun stuff so she said I could so I'm gonna remake that on our video today okay and show you guys bring you along and if you want to make it with me you can if not and you just watch or hang out whatever it's inspire me day so mary thank you for the inspiration i love you okay so let's pick some pages um okay there's two of like everything in here as far as i remember i've used that one i remember using that one um what do I want? Um, you can make this. Hers has three pages that are folded in half and six by six, like I said. I think you could probably do it with eight by eight. You could probably do it with, you know, 12 by 12 if you want. I mean, it just depends on how big you want it. You could, It doesn't even have to be square. I'm, I'm sure of that. It's just a little fun booklet with pockets on the inside, and I thought it was adorable. So um, let me use this guy. Uh, let's see. Right, righty, righty. I think I'm going to make mine with four. Okay, I don't know if that'll be too many or you know what, but I love this character here. I don't know, I just love that paper. So I'm gonna do him on the front, he'll probably be my cover just like he is on my waterfall journal. <laughs> I just think it, he, it's a fun picture. So I'm trying to fold this evenly. Now I'm thinking if we wanted to, we could fold this like we did that one time with a little bit of a spine, but I'm I'm not gonna put paper, extra paper in here. I'm just gonna run, um, I'm just gonna run or be putting all the same, you know, size paper. I'm not gonna be doing like any notebook or uh, any copy paper to write on or anything. So, I don't know. I think I'll just make it how Mary had hers and um, goes on the inside. And then, let's see. I think this guy, I might put this guy in the center because he's one whole piece and or one whole picture I really like with the bird. So, when they open it, it'll be the whole this guy. Okay. So we're going to fold these in half. Okay. And I was thinking, let me see real quick if I'm right. We've got a little bit of overage. I was going to try to see if I could trim some of that down. It is the scrapbook paper, so it's a little bit, you know, stiff. It's pretty thick. So I don't know. I could probably use, I don't want to mess up the paper by trying to do it too thick with too much. You know what I'm saying? Let's see. I'm using that outer one to try and trim off the inside. I'll do the same on this side. Hold these together. Let that little bit stick out. As you can see, it's like, you know how paper does when it's inside each other. Okay. There we go. Mm, still a little off right here. There, that should do it. Eh, it's still a little off, but you get the point. We're going to sew it. I'm going to be sewing this together, so it could be just that back part is doing that. It's 
it's weird. I have them folded in half, but it's funny the back section seems to be poking out further than the front. I'm really not sure why. Anyway, just the buckling of the paper, I guess. But Okay, so Mary has hers sewn, so I'm going to go ahead and what I'm going to do, you'll see it when I get back, but I'm going to sew these edges. Now let me see hers. She actually has, oh yeah, she's got pockets sewn here too. So maybe I should go ahead and do that. So I'm going to get, let's see. I was thinking that we don't have to use the same um, paper, but I do have, pulling these out, <laughs> sorry for the loud noise, guys. I'm looking here real quick because I have these Tim Holtz pieces that are cut out of the same uh, book, but they're small. You know how he has the different sizes in the back. And that I could use these smaller ones as the pockets for, and that maybe a tuck here and there and that kind of thing. So let's look here real quick and see what we can do. Um, so like we've got this little piece that I could trim. Okay. And I'm looking here at Mary's. Now, some of them I see she's done a little cut. Some of them she hasn't. I'm going to go ahead and do like a little angle because when you open and close it, um, that way it's not going to catch. Okay, so I'm just doing a little angle down into, I'll show you, into the corner here. And I'm gonna grab, um, instead of using any glue on this part, I have not really ever done this. I think, I don't recall doing it, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna paper clip mine to this portion so that when I sew, I'm gonna go around and sew the edges and then I'll sew it together down the center. And that way I don't have to use any glue. And I see that she, I don't think she used glue on hers. Mary, you can correct me in the comments, but I'm pretty sure that she did not use a glue there. And so yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do it that way. I'm going to follow Miss Mary's guideline and um, I just wanted to make some of these for myself. I thought they were really, really cute. I just liked it a lot. When I saw it, I was like, oh, I showed my husband. I go, look at this little buckle. It's so cute. <laughs> and I, I got on Facebook and thanked her for the for the Happy Meal and said, can I remake that? Is it okay? If, do I have your permission? Yeah, so I get excited. You guys know that by now, right? Y'all get excited too or we wouldn't be doing this. <laughs> we wouldn't be working with paper like we are. <laughs> yeah, so there you go. And so when this closes, I think it'll probably make it a little easier for it not to catch. And then you could also um, sew these in and sew this part down as a pocket pocket, you know. So like you could close it around, you know, so that it's, but this way it's like a tuck. Okay. Next, let's see. And this little buddy would look pretty on the inside of this one. So let's trim off the edge. corner here. Maybe I'll do this one for the back and then that way I don't have to cut the birds at all. I, I'm worried I might cut into them. I don't want to cut that feather either. I'd like it to be there. So. so as you can see, I'm taking about that much off. Okay. And I'm going to put that one on this side. Yeah. There you go. This is fun. I love this thing. It's so cute. Uh, I don't want to use exactly the same one. Let me see. Can we did that one. Let's do this one. Let's do this one. Okay. All right. 
So how's everybody doing? Are you guys getting ready for a fun weekend? It's Thursday. I am, let's see, my goodness, I'm home <laughs> from, my, from my little mini vacation by now. Uh, this is the week before. It is Monday the 10th. So as you can tell, I've been trying to get myself recorded ahead of time, you know. Yeah, so I just really wanted to make sure. Oh, you know what? I think I'll do my tux. I think I'll do them at the top. How am I going to do that, you guys? Huh. I could make them little under tux. Either that, or I could sew it on the edge and then maybe glue it. I don't want to cover these pictures, so I think I'm going to put one up here um, and one in the center. And then I'm going to, I'll figure this out. I'll figure it out. <laughs> I'm just not sure. I'm like, oh, I'm not sure what I want to do with that. Okay, little man, you're going to go in here. Yeah, I, um, I should be back by now. It's Thursday. And hopefully I will have already probably have recorded the haul video. I think that's probably the first thing I'm going to do when I get home, simply because I do not want to uh, make you guys wait to see what I got. I hope I got good stuff, and or I get good stuff, and that way when I get back, it's a fun haul video. I'm going to do him on this side. I didn't want to cut him like the, like the bird. I didn't want to cut that. One. Okay. And then this one... Uh, let's see. And let's do this guy. I will have to cut a little bit into the corner of the butterfly. Not much. Okay. And then now I'm going to let's see. Just get that corner there. You could use like little cards that you get out of your digi kits. You could use playing cards. You can use anything to put these little tuck spots in here. I'm using these because they match. I thought it'd be fun, you know. But yeah, you can you can pretty much use anything you want. Now, when I sew this, I'm probably going to do like she did, and I'm going to use a dark brown thread so it stands out. You know, it looks pretty. Okay, so what do we want to do with this one? Let me see. First of all, I want to pick which ones I'm going to use. This would be cute to have like a small version of it over here. Huh. What I can do is sew along the edge and then I guess I could glue. What are, what's on the other side? Oh, you know what? I could probably sew this one and it would look kind of cute if I did the... um. Yeah, I might do that. And then I, if I want to decorate on it, I can always cover it up, right? So yeah, I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna try that. I think I am, I think I am. Because I really don't want to cover up the bird. That was the whole point of putting him there. And then this way, it looks a little different. You know, this page will be a little bit different than the other pages, so that'll be fun, I hope. If it's not, then by the end of the video, we'll know, and you can know not to do that, <laughs> right? I will make the mistake for us, and that's why we're here. We make the mistake first, and then you guys learn from it and don't have to make it. So, okay. Yeah, I think I'm going to like having a pocket right there. It'll be cute. And this tide, I was thinking that I would do like, you know, I might just leave this open and maybe do, um, maybe leave this for writing or something. That would be cute. Or, or I could, let's see, cause it'll be here. I could do another pocket up here. I think I will. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna be different and I'm gonna go for it. And it'll be, it'll look like that when I get it in here. Yeah, that would be cute. I think so. I'm gonna give it a shot. Wait, wait, I wanna use this. 
Yeah, I'm going to use this piece. Glad I noticed that. Okay, so now we're going to put this against the edge. Trim it off. Okay. And then we'll cut this little bit. All right. There we go. So, and it can be anywhere I want it to be, actually. Center again. Yep, I do believe so. I'm sticking with my plan here. There we go. So, we're going to have, it'll be like this. Okay, so here's my little booklet. You'll open it. There's the first pocket. Did I not? Did I want a pocket here? You know what I think I'll do? I may put, like, some journaling paper here. You know, like some copy paper, coffee dyed paper, something like that. I don't know yet. And there. And there. Like that. Okay, so I'm going to pause because I can't bring my machine over here. I'm When I get my bigger home and we are set up, I'm going to have the machine and another holder for my phone so I can just switch it over and take you guys with me. But right now I'm going to go stand up and sew over here, and I will be right back. Hi, guys. Okay, I'm back. So I left the clips on so you could see um, I sewed each page individually and I'm really sorry I it's super super hard for me to get the camera onto my sewing machine it it's just a mess so um, when I have a project where I'm that's why I haven't been doing as many sewing projects because the last time I did it it was it was near on impossible and I, I managed it but it was tough um, anyway for small projects like this I, I don't want to pull the machine in and out um, so what I did was I went page by page, okay, and did my stitching all the way around. Now I left the clip so you could see. I clipped it together like this and made it flat so that when I sewed it together I'd get it down the seam. And believe it or not, I got it pretty straight, which is unlike me, I'll be honest. I usually I usually go off. So we're going to see because I have not taken these off yet. We'll see how straight I actually went. Um, <laughs> how straight the book is. <laughs> That'll determine if I actually did go straight or not. Um, it looks like I might have. I'm so excited. So what I did was I did a different stitch on each individual page. Now I want to, like on this one I did a loose zigzag. And then on this one I did, I don't know, it's number, this one's number six on my machine. And I have a Singer, um, what is it? I have a Singer Brilliance. This is number six. This one is number 12, or no, 33. Sorry about that. This one is number 26, and this one is a regular zigzag, which is number three, okay? So I'm gonna get my, um, my ink here, and I'm definitely distressing on the sides that was the back side. I wanna make sure that I darken where it punched through the paper and made the paper white, like here, which I was kind of bummed. I, I distressed it on the front already because this was white. I almost redid that one because I did not mean to, uh, I should have done it as a front, you know what I'm saying? But it's okay. I'm not going to, I'm not going to be ridiculously retentive about that. I'm just going to distress it like I would anyway, um, you know it would get distressed anyway, so I figured, okay, well, I'll just cover it with brown, and it won't matter. It'll be okay. Okay. As you can see, uh, when you run it over, it turns that paper brown, so it really doesn't stand out as much. That's okay. I think it turned out really cute. I love this book, Mary. Such a great idea. I adore it, and thank you so much for sharing it with us. I really, really appreciate you, and you've been so kind to me. Um, she's been extra kind to me, really, you guys. So thank you very much, honey. I love you, and God bless you. 
I hope all of you will give this little booklet a try. It's not difficult, but it's super fun and uh, gives you great results, you know. This is my middle section. Remember I said I was going to sew that in the center so you can see. I went a little crooked on this one, you can tell. I, I think I did better on the second side, on this side, but yeah, I did. I went straighter here. Um, it was just kind of a challenge holding holding the page and sewing it down the center and then, uh, you know. Someday I'll have my machine where I can actually do these things with you guys and you will see how it, it happened. What I do normally, now on some of, on one I forgot I did it from the top, but usually when I'm sewing in paper, I don't know how everybody else does it, but I start in the bottom right corner and that way my my back stitch and everything to, to, to really cinch it in doesn't stand out as much. Um, and my, where's my scissors here? And my ending stitch does not stand out as much and I like it that way, so. I was just going to trim, not that one, where was it, I just saw, um, yeah, anyway, so my stitches, I usually, like I said, do them from the um, bottom, right hand corner, uh, that's just my preference, and then on the front, I forgot, I, I wasn't thinking, and I started it and went, oh no, I, I realized as soon as I started it, I was like, dang it. But, you know, it was too late. I'd already done it, right? So. Oh, there's the spot I wanted to trim. This piece right here. Yeah. It's too long for my liking. And then I've got one here that's loose. Now, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a tiny bit of glue. Um, and I'm going to drop it here because I am going to trim that. And I don't want this to lift. But I also don't want this, it's where I turned the corner and I didn't cinch up the thread enough. And so yeah, it's hanging off in a ball there and I don't like that. Um, so it won't lift badly. I'm going to go ahead and just glue it down. Okay, uh, let's see, where was I, where was I? Okay. Yeah, so the Distress Ink darkens that area and it's fine, you can't really even tell unless you're focused on it and going, oh, where'd their stitching go and what did they do and how did they do it? <laughs> and most people, if you're going to sell this or give it away as a gift, most people are just going to be loving on it and thinking it's beautiful, so they're not really going to focus on those little things. Okay. I love this book. Oh my goodness, it's so cute. Thank you so much, Mary. I just love stuff like this. I do. I just find it to be so fun. Fun to make and then just fun to know somebody's going to get to enjoy it and use it, you know? Trim this one off. Okay. Trim this here. And then I sewed from the inside, so I'm going to trim this. Now. Let's see. Now that we are looking at it, I think I'm going to do like a little uh, spine cover. Huh, what do I want to use, guys? Let's see. I think I will use some of Tim's uh, tape. Um, I have some up here, my favorites. Now, we have to decide, do we want the blue, or do we want this one? This one matches better. I love this blue, though, with the grays and the greens and all of it, but this one technically matches better, so we are going to use this. I think it's so much fun, and I love decorating my spines on stuff if I can. And it'll just... Um, what do you call it? It'll secure it in there really well too, so. It does not hurt to do stuff like this. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and put some glue on here because I don't trust tape any further than I can throw it. <laughs> I don't, I don't, I don't. 
probably could just use my glue stick for this. <clears throat> Grabbing a piece of book page here. Yeah, I'm thinking the glue stick will work just fine. I see okay. Oopsie, oopsie. Clumsy girl. Now I want to try and get this centered a little bit. There we go. It's enough. And then I'm going to trim this little piece off without cutting through my stitches. So there's that. Now we have a little spine. Isn't that cute? My goodness, my goodness, my goodness. This book is adorable. You know what I'm thinking? I am thinking policy closure with a nice piece of... Uh, brown and white or I could even use I do have some what you call it um, twine but the twine I have is in my it's in my big box and it's also it's really really thick I can't find my thinner twine I'm not sure what I did with it I um yeah so we'll just distress this it'll be okay I got my baker's thread Okay. I think that's enough, but let's see here. So I'm going to do like I did the other day. I'm going to get, and I actually have probably, um, oh good, I have one of these. And I'll just use a plain brown underneath so I don't waste any of the ones that have pictures on them. Sometimes I just take scrap paper, thicker scrap paper, and I chop it up into these little circles so I have them. Um, okay, let me get that little, get my punch out that I showed you guys and try to get it in the center as much as possible. It's totally different. Maybe I should, I was thinking I could use a pen or a, a pencil and like mark it, but I'll do it from this side. If I put this in these, it's a one inch, so like it's, if I get it, yeah, okay, that's a good idea. So I just sat it in there and eyeballed it from the sides to see where my center was. And that way, when I go to punch it, I can just put that little, that little guy right on my center and punch there. Now, 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 where are my little, mm, ah, my little breads? Okay. Um, I'm gonna use the old bronzy looking one. I'm gonna put my, my little drawer back in where it goes. It goes in here. In my desk drawer. It was over on my other desk, so might as well take this opportunity to put it away. <laughs> right guys. Okay. Alright, so now we're gonna do the little lasso thing I did the other day that worked for me. I'm just gonna pull these down just a little bit so that when I get the thread on there, it doesn't uh fall off. So what I did the other day, if you didn't see, um, I just kind of started a knot like this. Okay. Can you see? Okay. Yeah. So I did that and I left it open and then I just tie it off like this. It's a lot easier than trying to tie it up. I, for the most part, I always tried to tie it after the fact, which makes it very difficult. Now I have my heat gun on, so I'm ready on that score. And what I'm gonna do, oh, I do wanna distress this little piece here real quick. Okay, so it kinda 
blends into the rest of it a little bit. Okay. And I'm going to make sure this is facing toward the back. Okay. I think I'll put it more in the center this time so you can still see that airplane. Yeah. So that's why I'm going to put that. So you just put some glue back here. I am using hot glue. You can use regular glue if you want. Okay. All right. Press that down. Hold it there for a second while it kind of catches. Okay. And then I'm going to wrap it around and I'm going to wrap it around. Now, I'm thinking that I'm going to make this a floating piece in whatever journal I put it in. It might go into our altered book since it, it's very much matching that um, book. So I'm going to go ahead and I think I'll, I guess pretty good. So I'm going to cut it right about there. Um, it's going to come around and then actually, should I cut it a little, should I just do it around once? Because it really, here, I'm going to separate these a little bit and get them started. There we go. Let me just look here real quick, guys. I think maybe I will just do it the one time. So I'm going to trim it off a little bit. Just kind of let it hang down. It can be done. Nah. I guess I can trim it a little bit. Tiny bit more. Okay. So there's our book. Just open it up. And there you go. Now I am going to glue this to the back like I like to do. So it's not moving all over the place. So I'm going to go ahead and put this back on. Okay. So I can make sure it's straight because that one I did the other day was crooked. My own fault. And I'm going to put a bead of glue. If I can get the glue to start. Okay. And it does not take a lot. And this, if you're using, oh, you can use any glue, but the art glitter glue dries really fast. Actually, the tacky glue does too for this. I mean, it's such a small little area. And I put it directly on there and just let it sit for a sec and then kind of wipe the edges a little bit. Okay, but that'll set. All right now so now you can see the back you can see the front it's adorable and I don't want that to come off <laughs> but I want to work on it so now let's see so now you can fill your little pockets and I'm thinking I don't need Oopsie. I better put these away before I drop all of them everywhere, huh? Let me see. Okay. What I was thinking was I'm going to go in with on some of these lighter pages and make sure I kind of age them a little bit. Okay. I I could not I mean, I actually adore this this idea. I really, really do. I fell in love with it when I saw it, and and I am still absolutely loving it. Because <laughs> you can put tags in here, you can put paper, um, you can leave it open, you can put vintage, you know, vintage receipts, photos, anything you want, you know, any absolutely anything you want in here to make this. A fun interactive piece for your journal or like I said earlier you can just give it away this is the kind of thing you can just give away as a gift you know by itself it's adorable just like Mary did with me she put it in to the you know into the happy mail just as a gift on its own and it was just so so cute I fell in love immediately so you know it really is up to you how you want to use it um, I do like this middle section that's got these these pockets or these tuck spots 
kind of up in the center of the page simply because now I did not ruin uh, my pictures, you know. I didn't lose. I didn't lose. And you can do like how we did the pockets on one page. You can do them on both. I mean, you could do like one on the bottom and one on the top, you know, so that they, so that it fills in equally. You know what I mean? So it's not like bulky at the bottom and thinner at the top. You can do stuff like that too. So I'm trying to think if I really, you know, want to do a ton of decorating. I'm, I'm thinking the decorating I want to do is just maybe a little bit of Tim Holtz, like his um, smaller stuff collaged a little bit and kind of let this paper speak for itself, you know? I remember the other day I, I was watching um, Laura, one of our family members, she has a channel, Laura Fuller um, Earth Art, and she had mentioned in her video, you know, sometimes you don't have to cover the paper. It, we don't have to fill in the page. We can just let the paper speak for itself. And this would be a really great uh, way for them to have journaling space too, you know what I mean? Because there's tons of open, there's lines. So, you know, I think I'll probably put maybe a couple of maybe vintage photos or a couple of little cards in here. But other than that, I think I'm going to decorate the bottom here probably with a collage right now. And then that's going to be about it. What time is it? Oh, good. We're fine. Um, let me see here. I've got Tim's stuff in this bag and then I've also oh I've got so much of his stuff what do I want to use these are all kind of bigger pieces um, I'm thinking I'm gonna pull out that other little uh, <clears throat> box that I keep the small guys in that I like to use these are fun and I'm gonna put my tape up I'm standing to do it so I don't hit the camera. Did you see that? Aren't you proud of me? <laughs> Praise the Lord, I'm starting to remember. <laughs> I'm like, bang. <laughs> oh, goodness. You guys are probably like, okay, you've apologized for that 50 times. Quit doing it. <laughs> no, I know you're not thinking that. You guys are too sweet to me. Um, let me see here. I had done a couple of little of these little, uh, but I think they're, nah, this is more, I don't know, this book is more altered book grungy, the way I made it, so I'm good with that, these are fun, I love these little things, I need to cut out some more, because I've used a lot of my favorites, I just think they're so cute, and I don't remember, I'll have to look it up. I have no idea where I got these little tiny tidbits. They're more nature themed. You know, they have animals on them and butterflies and little words and like, you know, a lot of stuff like that. Um, I'm just thinking they would look cute on the front of here and not, uh, and go with him. He kind of looks like, he reminds me of like um, an explorer or uh, a traveler, a time traveler, or maybe a scientist, you know what I mean? So yeah, that's what he always reminds me of, and I think that's cool. So, I don't want these hard edges with the dark colors. I just want to distress around this. And we are just going to do a mini collage, okay, on the front here. No rhyme, no reason, just fun, just fun. That one's already distressed, so I think it's meant to be. I'm going to use it. And then we've got these little circles I have here. These are fun. If I see these um, when I'm on vacation, I'm probably going to get another package just because I love them. And, you know, when you fall in love with something, you should get more than one of it just because they might quit making it. I've learned that through my lifetime. <laughs> Have y'all learned that? 
How many mascaras have they quit making that I absolutely loved? How many times have they quit making my bra? Or, you know what I'm saying? It's like, ugh. Just when I find what I want, what I need, and I use it for a couple of years, that it's gone. And so, yeah. I feel like with Tim Holtz and different things that we use, I'm like, okay. It could possibly be gone. It's like them taking away his 12 by 12 paper. You know? What a sad day. For them to take away the 12 by 12s of all things you know there we go and oh my goodness i was on amazon looking at um and then etsy as well the the tim holtz paper or a fabric oh that was so cool but it's expensive I'm a little bit cheap, I guess, but oh, I was like, okay, I don't know if I can afford that. I mean, all the stuff is expensive. It all adds up pretty quick, but, you know, certain things are like, whoa, okay. So I am going to put, like, let's see here. I don't want to cover, well, I, I don't mind covering the stitching a little bit. Not a lot, though. I want it to be there. But I was thinking... This little red EW kind of goes with the red on the page, so I was going to put that on here. I don't know where. Maybe up here. I don't know what it stands for, but maybe Edward Warren. No, I'm kidding. I don't know. Don't think about it. Just collage, Tara. Just collage. I think, I think too much. I gotta just relax and enjoy the experience. I always end up loving it when I don't sit and dwell on what I'm doing and just lay some stuff down. I walk away and I go, oh, it looks fun looks old. It looks like something I would have found in my attic or my grandma's attic. Okay. And of course I will get into my words and put a faith builder on here, you know, something that draws attention to what's important in this life. Okay. Gosh, we are headed up on these holidays fast, aren't we, you guys? I was thinking about it. I'm like, my goodness, it's going to be it's going to be time to celebrate Thanksgiving. And the whole fall thing will be over with if, you know, I'm like, oh my, it's just gone so fast. It's gone so fast. We're already almost to the halfway mark of October. Or no, we are. When this video plays, uh, you know, I'm a week ahead. So next week we'll be at halfway. Because my bestie Shani, her birthday is the 15th. And that's this, this past Saturday. Yeah. So, mm, mm, mm. it's amazing how quick time flies. I don't know. I don't know if I want that up there, actually. I'm going to put it right here. Oops, I forgot to distress. Shoot. Just a little bit. Just a little bit around the edges here. Yeah? Okay. Yeah, it's just hard to believe it's already here. I may 
I may end up being uh, doing more, I think I've mentioned I probably will end up doing more holiday theme stuff next year when I've kind of gotten my groove with the channel and the business, the Etsy and the Facebook and house housewife stuff and you know <laughs> I'm kind of like uh I got a lot on my plate now it feels like a lot it feels like a lot sometimes but I put it on the plate and I felt like I was supposed to so I know I'll be okay just gotta get my groove I'm getting better and better though I'm, I'm you know like I said this recording is being done on uh on uh let's see today's the 10th so yeah i'm i'm ahead i'm way ahead of myself which is nice i was thinking to try and put this kind of hmm which one do i want that's pink i don't want pink Oh, there we go. I like that. Faith, hope, and love. We're going to have this gentleman. You know, I think he might be a missionary. <laughs> he looks like a traveler to me of some kind. I don't really want it to, oh, it could go right there. I don't want it to cover the EW, and I definitely don't want it to cover his face. We could do it like this. Or do I want to take it over the baker's twine? Let's see. Huh. I wish I could hear you guys because I know that while you're watching this you are saying something to me even though it's a week later I know you're speaking to me <laughs> I always laugh at myself when I try to tell Tina where she should put something I'm like no 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 don't put it there oh wait don't get rid of that I love that part don't take that away wait choose that color <laughs> I'm like, I wish she could hear me. <laughs> now I'm on the other side going, I wish I could hear you. I'm still not set up for live video, though, and I'm, I know it's a bummer. I will, when I get to the point where I can do that, I will definitely, it's okay. It's got a little line there, but I kind of like it right there, so. It's got that rustic feel, you know what I mean? It don't feel... Uh, it just has a rustic feel. I love that. That's what I love about Tim Holtz stuff anyway. It's got that grungy rustic feel that you just, it's like it's been through something, you know. Everything looks like it's been through something. There we go. So there is our booklet. Um, decorated. Okay. And I think I'm going to douse him with some brown, of course. He looks a little bright on my side of the camera. And then when you open it, yes, we're going to play a little bit and show you one more time. I will put, let's see, what do I have over here? Here, we'll put something in here so you can see little tags. Um, let's see. These aren't the ones for this, but you can kind of get an idea, you know. So. Tags. This guy, these two might be kind of cute in here, actually. This flowers go kind of with those. So maybe I'll leave these guys in here. Because I do want to have a couple of tags in here. Or a few pieces, you know. 
so anyways that's that's our video today I hope you guys enjoyed these wonderful wonderful um, pocket booklets from Mary and thank you again Mary and I love you guys God bless you and have a wonderful day and I'll see you tomorrow with our altered book Woo! we get to play I love that book <laughs> so anyway I'll see you guys tomorrow take care okay bye